Welcome back to the Dive and Breakfast. Now, of course, we do continue with the show with a very special guest coming in all the way from Uganda. Now, let's speak all things comedy right about now because, you know, sometimes a girl loves to laugh, especially on this show with my good friend Jimweka. But we are expected to witness um, an exciting Easter comedy festival. And this will not only be graced by the special guest from Uganda, but of course, you do get to see some of Zambia's very own talents. He is the man from Ombokolo. Ah, I hope I said it correct. Too. Did I? <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> but before I get to show you who it is I'm sitting next to, let's take a look at what an exciting event this is going to be. Official Africa's Funniest Man will be in Zambia on April 6 at the Music Club Eastbok Molusaka. And the temptation is very strong when you're on the first floor. You are going to the 11th floor. First floor, nothing. Second floor, nothing. Third floor, you say, Ish, I'm alone. You look around, yes, you're alone. You release. As soon as you release on the fifth floor, you hear. Salvador, a.k.a. the man from Umbokolo, supported by Buanan Jombe, Vubri, Gabi, GC Comedy, award-winning Inspector Pamela, and hosted by Emmanuel Musaka. Get your advance tickets from Cricket Online, the Cricket Standard, East Park Mall, or Michaela Gardens in Woodlands at 200 Quacha Standard, 500 Quacha VIP, and 1,000 Quacha VVIP. For more details, call 0977-109-791 or 0978-109. 255-500. Now the man from Ombokolo was the first runner-up in the multi-choice Africa organized comet, uh, competition, comedy competition. It was it strictly stand-up, and this was back in twenty in two thousand and nine. I beg your pardon, out of Uganda. So welcome uh, to you, Patrick Salvador, and of course, sitting right next to him is our very own. Um, also him he's tickled us a few times and that is of course events um, organizer in Bra G. <laughs> Bra G this is not about you. No, it's about the man himself. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I do not fly all the way here to be to make it uh, the show about him. <laughs> right? <laughs> Patrick's very exciting that um, you're sitting here with us this morning. But I want to understand, you know, just for the viewers as well that may not be too sure as to who you are. Yeah. Who is Patrick Salvador. Well, uh, Patrick Salvador is uh, originally called Patrick Idringi, uh, mm. Vieira. Uh, those are my, my official names. And uh, um, um, I'm a father of three, mm -hmm. of course, married to my wife. Who's <laughs> also your manager. Who's also my manager <laughs> for, for financial reasons. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I started out as an engineer. Mm -hmm. I did a Bachelor of Science in Telecommunications Engineering. And I worked for one of the biggest telecom companies in uh, in, in Uganda, which is, I think, the same year in MTN, for five years. And then the competition came uh, called uh, Stand Up Uganda. And I think uh, one of your uh, legends here in Zambia called Bob Mkosha was one of our mentors mm. uh, when we were, we were starting out during the competition. And I came uh, second, and uh, from that time I realized I think this is what I was supposed to do. And uh, since 2009, uh, 2011 professionally, I've been doing stand-up. How did your wife feel about you making the transition from being an engineer yeah. to a comedian? She actually, we met when I was already... I was already 80% comedian now. Ah, okay. Yeah, she did not feel the engineer in me. Uh -huh. Yeah, she, she did not experience that life of, of me being an engineer. So I think she has witnessed more of me being the comedian. Mm. Yeah, so she did not, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad of a transition. Like how maybe your guardians, your parents could have taken it. Ah, exactly. It's my dad who actually encouraged me, who gave me the biggest hope that I can, I, I can make this work because my what? dad is one of exactly. those old school. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, the, that's why I said, you know what, I have to make this work. Because when I went to him and I told him, listen, dad, I want to stop doing engineering. I want mm -hmm. to concentrate on doing comedy. He told me, if that's what you want to do, please pursue. Yeah. And I was like, dad, let me explain. I want to live engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Something you've been dreaming about me doing for a very long time to do comedy. Something I'm not even sure about. Mm. He said, yeah, but if that's what you want to do, I was like, sure. 
ah, there must be colonial masters working on my dad's <laughs> mind because how he did that, oh my God, here we are. Excuse me. No, that is a very ins exciting and tricky story. But also, I just want to get this uh, as well. How would you... I mean, you were in the background and now, you know, you're coming out and now people know you yeah. um, as this funny man. But how would you describe just the growth of the comedy fraternity in Africa? I mean, from Uganda to Zambia? Come on now. One thing I must say, uh, the, we have not yet even burst the bubble when mm. it comes to comedy in, in, in Africa. We are still on 10% or even less because... We are a bunch of very funny people here in Africa, and our yeah. stories have not been told. And fortunately for us, we are rich in storytelling mm. when it comes to Africa. If you look at, at the American comedy industry now, it's going down because it's been the same thing. Racism, black, white, uh, sex, religion, this, that, this. But for us, we have so much, especially when it comes to culture. We sh somehow share culture, which is somehow different it is intriguing mm. so we have not yet explored that's why when an african goes to the u.s to do a show people are blown away because the narrative that those guys have of you know you are walking and you see a zebra <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crossing the road or a lion is there you are chilling with a leopard yeah yeah that's the narrative those guys have up to today so when you go there and you give them a different perspective about how we have skyscrapers, we have speed trains, mm. they're like, are you sure? Mm. So this, these are the kinds of things uh, that we are trying to expound. And the beauty is that we are starting with Africa for Africa okay. before we go out there. Mm -hmm. So that if we have one voice, one unity, a Zambian comedian will go to, 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 to the U.S. and nobody will know that they are from Zambia. They'll just say, this is an African, an African comedian. Artist, and that is the narrative we want to sell. Raji, mm -hmm. um, let's also just talk about the growth. I mean, look, we have seen international comedians also come uh, to Zambia. What what does this do, what does this mean even for you and and watching the growth that has been happening here? Well, I think it's um it's a good move mm -hmm. that uh, the the industry itself starts uh, you know bringing these international comedians. Yeah. In the recent past, we've seen Anika Sime from Uganda as well coming through to add Ticha Mpamire. Yeah, and uh, we've had some international comedians at some point. Some past years we had um, Ukwa who came through. So it's um, a case of um, changing different, uh, you know, cultures in terms of the art. And mm -hmm. this is very good for the growth of the, of the, of the industry. Like Pat Patrick has said, uh, there's so much potential that needs to be realized and enhanced. But um, we have to say kudos to people like you, the Lemon TV, for coming on board, for giving us such a platform to, you know, showcase, uh, you know, um, the, our, the, our show, as well as yeah. the ministry also has been so supportive, the National Arts Council, as well as the association, the Comedian Association of Zambia, they have also been doing so well in as far as pushing for these shows uh, are concerned. So mm -hmm. we need to see more of such because uh, it's a change of ideas and how things are done. Just listen, we had um, the, the, the UK-based comedian in uh, Darisa Chaponda who was, who, was, who was in Zambia. So this is a good thing and we need to, to continue this trajectory. Uh, Next, we are looking forward to Zambian comedian going to Uganda and host a big show there. They just shouldn't crack certain jokes. They will. <laughs> <laughs> Which jokes in particular? That joke you were cracking. <laughs> <but That's anyway. laughs> I want to get also, you know, coming back to you, Patrick. Um, is Salvador your real name? Because I was looking at your profile. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, where did Salvador? Is, is is this something you picked up off stage? Yes, actually, it was. Uh, it came about from a joke I did. So mm. I, I, I'm sure you all know because it cuts across Africa. The telenovas. Yeah. There was a there was a, a show called Salvador. Second Chance. I know it. Yeah. 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 It's African. It's I'm everywhere. It's the reason the show. why the name is so strong in Africa is because that guy. First of all. <laughs> He's like, he, he's like the guy fell out of a DVD. Yeah. He's so handsome. Yeah. He's so pure. I the know. guy, the hair is just on point. It's, everything about that guy was. And then I and, and then look at me. I'm the, I'm there. Mm. Yeah. So one day I compared myself to him and the ladies went wild. No! <laughs> stop spoiling our guys. So <laughs> because I, I, I compared myself to him, I made a joke that, you know, back in the day when I had no money, mm -hmm. I was broke and ugly yeah. so i chose a struggle you can't be both choose one 
But there's nothing I would do about my looks. <laughs> the only thing I would do was my financial <laughs> situation. Change the so when my financial situation improved, automatically my looks also improved. <laughs> so I went and I said, so one time this girl saw me coming out of a supermarket, I bought a lot of groceries, and she was like, oh my God, Salvador. So the time I did that job, Every time I came on stage, people in the audience would shout, Salvador, oh. in a mockery way. Yeah. You know, they were like kind of mocking me. <laughs> but before I knew it, the name stuck. So mm. I started also calling myself Salvador. And here we are now. It's a household <laughs> name. And here we are now indeed. So, Braji, <laughs> outside Salvador, who else are we expected to see on the big stage? Well, um, we have a group of great, great, you know, um, comedians, mm -hmm. uh, local comedians. Unfortunately, we would not put everybody you know on board but yeah. uh, this time around we have assembled a good arsenal of uh, typical stand-up comedians okay. and um the good part is that um, it will be graced by two ladies in... i know i was just about to say yeah, <laughs> yeah so we have the funny booby as well as gabby and um on the gentleman side uh we have uh, the inspector pamela yeah the award winning mm -hmm. yes fresh from winning the the ngoma award there is also um, uh gc comedy as well as um, Guananjombe, and the show will be hosted by Emmanuel Msaka. So it's a it's a very interesting full packed uh, you know show, and mm -hmm. not just to spice it up, we um, make sure that uh, we're bringing the old folks on board and uh, being entertained by some music. So we have Amayachi, yeah, legendary okay. Mumbayachi. Bambayachi. <laughs> yes, you can say that, <laughs> yeah, to provide the you know the music. So it's a very very interesting and packed show that people need to look forward to. It's the one that they can't afford to miss. It's the one that you can't afford to miss. Yeah. But um, who else uh, is expected to be in attendance as well for this event? In terms of um, the guests, yes, please. Well, obviously, we have prominent people that have uh, you know invited uh, both from government mm. and the society. Okay. So it's a uh, it's most mm. likely those that will be in the v v v VIP section. Please, those people that you've been looking forward to meet, you can meet them in the v VIP section. So come and interact with them. So mm. it's um it's it's uh, going to be very not just a show, but mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, a show that will give you an opportunity to meet people that you've been looking, for, looking forward to meet both or maybe on the social side or, or business side of things. So more reasons for people to get themselves ticket. Um, and the event is when? The event is just the day after tomorrow, which Fr will be Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, no, it will be Thursday because Friday is a holiday. Yeah, so we have given people something to know to why to look forward to Thursday. Yeah. yeah, so it will start at exactly eight, 18 hours. We'll have uh, you know, the red carpet. We want the show at 19 exactly. We kickstart the show mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that people you know, get to have a good laugh. We want to stick to time this time around. Yeah, okay. we we'll definitely have to stick to time because we don't. It's not a music show <laughs> where the main act comes on stage at zero <laughs> one or midnight. But this one is a comedy show. We want maybe by twenty two, thirty, twenty three people, you know, start leaving after a full pack of. And of can laughter. go and continue Eastering. I and continue Eastering <laughs> exactly. Continue going so, to prepare for Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So it's 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 um. It's it's a show to look forward to. It's yeah. a show that you one one can't afford to miss. It's a show that um has been well organized uh, to give people something to remember about. Is Bonanjombe coming in a special, uh, we hear police these days, you know, role special. Well, is he driving a special car uh, for his arrival? <laughs> apparently he's just outside. He's the one that is providing. And oh, he's know, guarding Patrick's yeah, car. Yeah, so uh, uh, he's guarding Patrick's car <laughs> and um, Inspector Kapamera is with us in the studios. So he's here to provide security <laughs> to Patrick. So it's a, it's a show that has brought two police officers to share the same stage. So um, officers as well as other civil servants, you have representation in Bandanyom and Inspector Pamela. So more reasons for you to come forth and support them. Patrick, welcome to Zambia. I can see you are in very good hands. I'm, I'm super excited because it's the first time. Yeah. I've always wondered why I've not been here because mm. we've had Ankan Sime, Tichampa Mire, Eman Napoleon, mm -hmm. we've had, I think, Pablo. Tilda, yeah. Pablo. Yeah, Pablo and I was like, oh, well, I think these people just consider the non fat people uh, <laughs> to come from Uganda because I was like, why not me? Yeah. And then uh, Michael came through in a big way, big up to him, Malambo. Uh, he, he made this happen. Uh, in the shortest and quickest and the most professional way possible mm -hmm. and i'm super super excited my biggest attribute every time i know i'm going to have a good show is when the promoter does their work wow and this guy has overdone 
Yeah. <laughs> so now the pressure is on me <laughs> to deliver. <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much to Damon TV. Yeah. The CVO himself. Yeah, Mr. Costa Mansa, <laughs> boss of Paise. We say thank you very much, you know, for supporting um Fanike Media as well as the entertainment industry. You're doing a great job. Mm. And um we'll continue engaging each other so that we can have more great content on this great television session. So mm. tickets are one going to yeah. sales, yeah, mm. it's two hundred quarter. Uh, ordinary then the vip is 500 kwacha and the vvip is going at 1000 kwacha that's where you meet them those at Bananjombe <laughs> call them. Waunga Waunga. So Waunga Waunga, <laughs> you know where to find them. So come and interact with them uh, the day after tomorrow at the Music Club East Park. It's happening at 18 hours. Woo! You heard it for yourself. Something to do just before the Easter celebrations do kick off. It's something. At least get yourself to laugh. It's a nice a date as well for those who are trying to impress a lady. They always say a way to a woman is just by making her smile. So I think that's a great show. But thank you so much, my guests, for being here. We continue with the Diamond Breakfast. Coming up, of course, we are going to be focusing on the food that you eat. Do you know where it comes from? And can you be doing something different um, away from these other foods that seem a little bit more glorified than locally grown products? Well, stick around. Official Africa's Funniest Man will be in Zambia on April 6 at the Music Club Eastbok Molusaka. And the temptation is very strong when you're on the first floor. You are going to the 11th floor. First floor, nothing. Second floor, nothing. Third floor, you say, Ish, I'm alone. You look around, yes, you're alone. You release. As soon as you release on the fifth floor, you hear. Salvador, a.k.a. the man from Umbokolo, supported by Buanan Jombe, Vubri, Gabi, GC Comedy, award-winning Inspector Pamela, and hosted by Emmanuel Musaka. Get your advance tickets from Cricket Online, the Cricket Standard, Ispok Mall, or Mikaela Gardens in Woodlands, at 200 Quacha Standard, 500 Quacha VIP, and 1,000 Quacha VVIP. For more details, call 0977 or 0978 255 500